Hello, this video will give you an overview of the tutorials about the sci-fi panel generator. So here is one of the results that's built with this generator. So all these panels are generated with the Houdini tool and I'm used in Unity to build this scene. So the tool works based on drawings you make. So I have here an example and I have a layer 1 which will be my top layer and layer 2 will, which will be the supporting layer for 1. So based on these drawings you are going to generate a model. I also have a detail layer which I will be using to create some more details in the panel. Then in Houdini we will have a digital asset which have multiple settings to change the panel to what we like. So we can move parts, we can scale parts, we have a pipe system where we can either manually place pipes, so in this case I only want one pipe, but we can also have full pipes underneath the panel if you would like that. And we can easily change the radius of pipes and they would try to fit in on the panel. You can also change the divisions and we can play around with settings to what we like to see. And with this workflow we can easily go back and forward between drawings and our generator. So if I make a change in my drawing, so I'm gonna add some more detail, let's say I want another line that goes like this, then I save it, then back in Houdini I'm gonna press the reload button. And you can see that the detail has been added that we wanted. So it's a nice system to work with and it's easy to go back and forwards between simple drawing and your geometry. This tool also makes high poly and low poly. So we can bake the results that we have. So let's say I want to see my low poly, then we switch to the low poly view and a few moments later we will have the low poly. There are also a few settings, like we can we have a ramp control, which is used to extrude some parts of the panel, with some high poly quality. We can say what the poly count should be, and also include some cleanup methods to remove some more polys if you would like to. This tool can also be opened in game engines like Unity or Unreal Engine. So in Unity, I've loaded in my HDA file and I can drag and drop this in the viewport. So once loaded we can we have the same settings as we have in Houdini, like we can change the file and play around with sliders to control the panel. I can also load in my other file and this is then the result. So in the game engine we can easily control all the values and find what we are looking for. Then further here is a small breakdown of the scene. This panel was made by two drawings, the top part and the support part. This one has a similar approach, where this, this is the top part and then the support layer for it. And then the last one, I only used one drawing, and I used this more as a modular kit. And these are all individual pieces. And I can use them to decorate the scene a bit more. That was it for the overview and I hope you will start watching the tutorials.